Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Shana here, and today I have for you guys a color and chat, and I am super excited. So, I know you're probably like, well, why is the page almost done? Um, before we get into the color and chat, I wanted to show you these paint pens that I found. I've had them for like two years and didn't really realize that I had them and that I could use them. I don't know. I had them originally to personalize a Christmas ornament. Um, but they're Arteso, and I, I know I got them off of Amazon. It's 15 markers, um, or paint pens, and I don't remember how much they were. So I will try to link them. Um, I'm just realizing now on the back here, they have black, white, gold, silver, brown, um, pastel blue, blue, green, light green, yellow, pastel pink, pink, red, orange, and violet. So that is all the colors plus the black is over here and the gold is in my hand um and i started excuse me that was really gross <laughs> to do her like embellishments here um so you're also getting a sneak peek of a finished page um and this was a buddy color with jess over at colorful craft so i will try to remember to link her channel below um go check her out she is new but she is awesome so go check her out um, and I started to do them here with gel pens, so that's why that looks a little different. And then I was like, oh, I've got, let's try out these paint markers. And they work really well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish her little details here. Ooh, they're very juicy, especially because I just had it laying down after using it. Um, so I do still have something back here because it did start to go through another page, which was sad. Um, but how are you guys doing while I do this? What are you coloring? Let me know down below. I actually remember to ask in the beginning this time. I am just trying to get through my buddy colors. This page stumped me. Just this page stumped me. I debated on how to go about this page forever, and then I was just like, just do it. So that's why it's taken me so long. I'm still working on the Hannah Lynn page that I was doing with Steph because I'm trying to do different things with that. So it's just taking extra long. So I'm hoping to have it done by the end of the month because that's when I told her I would have it done by. So September was our goal. She's already been done hers. That was great English. But yeah, so these go down really, really nice. Um, and it says on the box, like, writes on most surfaces or something like that. So you should be able to use them really anywhere. Multi-purpose paint pens. Um, but yeah. So I have this one. And then the one that we're actually going to work on today is also a buddy color with Sam. And she just finished hers. So I'm hoping to get that done today. I have house chores I need to do. I um, was on Danny's live today, which was a lot of fun. Danny Buttons went live. Um, and then after that, I was like, oh, I'll grab some food. I'll start chat, uh, the color and chat after that. But as I was eating, I turned on Netflix. <laughs> and I put on um, cold case files. It says classic, so it's not like the new ones that are Netflix produced, but like the older ones. That I guess we're on television and I got sucked in. Go figure. If you've been here a little while, you know I really like true crime. By the way, um, thank you and welcome to everyone who's new. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys. And we are, as of the last time I checked, which was like um, earlier this morning, we were at six hundred or five hundred and sixty-nine, or goodness, five hundred and ninety-nine subscribers. So I'm just gonna finish off this page with the white dots that I wanted to put in. Um, so I know I still haven't done the five hundred subscriber giveaway, but it'll be a five and six hundred subscriber giveaway. I think I finally got it figured out. So keep watching the videos if you want to. Um, be involved in that and you will have to watch to the end because they're going to be put somewhere in the video so it won't be at the beginning it won't just be like one video saying there's a giveaway because I want my actual people who watch to win not just somebody looking for a giveaway let's see yeah 
this page really, really stumped me. And I was going to do, like, all of this, different colors and stuff, and I was just like, I don't have the patience for that on this picture, and I also just like the way that it looks. So, I could do the spots, but I just really, I don't want to. <laughs> I just like the way that it looks, so we're going to leave it. And I left the stones gray, and I think I'm actually going to leave the background gray. I don't think I want to color that. Um, so yeah, so we're almost done with this one. I'm just going to do her eyes. So this is how I add. Oh, hey, there's my head. <laughs> Hello. All right, let's zoom you guys in. There we go. So I leave, I always leave this part white and I always do this part like a mint blue. I don't know why I just do. Um, so then I take my paint pen. And this one's the Posca, not the um, Arteso. This is my trusty Posca. Let me just fill it in. And sometimes I go over it twice if I have to, because um, the paper kind of sucks in the paint. But not always. Sorry, I got really quiet because I was focusing on that. There we go. And then I'm going to have to turn the book. So then I just take my pen and I flick it. And however it lands, for the most part, is how it lands. And I think it just gives them a nice little like glint in their eye. And I really like it. So yeah, I like how she turned out. Um, I just straight colored everything else, but yeah, it was fun. So thank you, Jess, and I will sign and date this later. I don't know why I signed my pictures, but I do. I mean, like, nobody's going to look at them but me, so what's it matter? I have so much stuff on my table right now. I have all the markers out, <clears throat> and I don't want to close this yet because of the paint. Oh, I forgot the jewels. Whoops. Um, We'll make them... I wanted them red, I wanted them shiny red, but let's grab this Arteza pen because I do want this for the next page. And if you didn't see, that was Chibi Girl's Horror that we're gonna work out of. So they come, <clears throat> I guess this is a good little demo, they come like this, so they're, they're white at the tip, and then you just, well the directions are on here too. Shake, press, right. So, well, I'm going to put the lid on because I've had bad experiences with that. We're going to shake this up. But you can't see, but I'm shaking it. You can probably hear it. And then I'm going to press it until it starts to turn red, which should be soon. There we go. It turned red. Ah, you can't see. And then press it one more time. And there we go. Now it's red. So we'll go ahead and do these little jewels. Ooh, very juicy. And then once it dries, I might go over it with a glitter gel pen. We'll see. There were details on her bracelets and stuff too, but I just colored them gold. So yeah, there she is. Cool. So we'll leave this red pen out because we're gonna pull Lovesy. Sorry. My bad. Ah! Everything's falling. Ah! Okay. <laughs> so I sound like a dying cat. All right. Um. Let's. I can't find the tab. There we go. So we are gonna work on this page today. The Swamp Girl. Um. And when I first saw this page, the idea has stuck. I really want to um, make it like psychedelic, like neat, like really bright colors um, for everything, like not normal colors for everything. So this is kind of getting me out of my comfort zone, except for her. I want to keep her like somewhat normal, um, that she's like in this weird, I think, I just think it makes it scarier if she's in this like weird world. <laughs> So, I don't know. Because this page isn't inherently frightening to me. I mean, I wouldn't be walking through a swamp with evil eyes staring at me, but, you know, you do you. <laughs> so, that is why I wanted the red paint pen for these 
evil red eyes. Well, they wouldn't have to be red, but they're going to be red here. So once we do this, we'll really get into chatting, but I kind of, this pen is like leaking, so. I might have to do another coat on these guys. I could probably press this down again, but, ah, there's my head again. Oh no. I thought I zoomed in, but I guess too much, maybe. So, do, 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 there we go. And then, I'm gonna black that out in there. But yeah, so let's start with the water, and I'm gonna make it bright pink water. <laughs> so, I don't know what pen to use, what marker to use. I don't know if this one's gonna be brighter. Let's see. I don't have my swatches. I've kind of not given up on them, but um, been lazy lately and just don't feel like grabbing my whole binder. Arr. I think let's go with that one because it's weirder. So let's see. I'm gonna say that this right here is water. I think that's tree. I think this is water. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the chisel tip. Um, and then we're going to make the like algae splotches. They're just going to be a really ugly green color. So how is everyone? Thank you to all of those. <laughs> Who saw my last Instagram post about my hand? It is healing. As you can tell, I don't have a band aid on because, of course, it had to be my left hand. Um, I'll show you in just a second. Let me flip this and then. Okay. So, yeah, I sliced myself up pretty good. Um, I was closing the other night at work. And I was closing the coffee brew station. So, you know, they have like this big contraption and then um, the carafts, coffee carafts sit in or whatever they're called, urns, that's what they're called. Um, they sit in on that machine to keep them warm. And I was cleaning it and I was, it was getting towards the end of the night and I was almost done. And I went to wipe the side and there was a sharp part right here and I went, and it just sliced my hand open. I was like, great. So of course I was, first of all, hoping that I didn't bleed all over my clean counter. <laughs> cause like it hurt, but I was, I was like, oh no, that's bad. When I saw it, cause it started to bleed. Not like gush, but it did start to bleed. So I ran to the back and one of my coworkers was there and believe it or not, I work with an Indiana Jones. Um, that's actually his name. Um, and so Indy was back there and I said, I was like, oh great, I sliced my hand open. And he said something and it was something to provoke me to show it to him. <laughs> and I was like, no, I really did. And he was, he goes, oh my God, I thought you were joking. It's like, no, it wasn't. He was like, tell me it's strawberry puree. I was like, sure, Indy. He was like, no, really. He's like, it was strawberry puree, everything's fine, as I'm like washing my hand out. It was funny though. He was like, yeah, I don't do well with it, it uh, outside of people, let alone the inside of people. I was like, I feel you on that, but I do better with the inside of people than the outside. But it's been a pain, um, just because it's healing, so like the skin is super tight. Um, because of the scabs and whatnot, so it's just been annoying, but today it seems to be doing better. Um, obviously I don't have it covered, but I've still been keeping, like, Neosporin on it, so that helps the skin stay moisturized. Um, it's just, I was like, why did it have to be my left hand? But of course it did, because, like, that's the hand I'm cleaning with, so... 
Oh, well. It's all right. I am fine, but thank you all for your concern. Um, I posted it just because I felt like it, and I was like, ha ah. Because I talk about how klutzy I am, and that's first-hand account. Ooh, this is going to be hard to color, so I think I'm going to bring it into this small area, because if there's a streak there, you won't really be able to notice. Um, so yeah, because I mentioned last week that I ran into the uh, frig refrigerator door for the sandwiches. Um, that was not entirely my fault, because I thought that the door was shut, and then it opened on its own, because it doesn't work right. That one wasn't entirely my fault. Um, and then Danny was like, because I had said in that video, I was like, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I'm a klutz. She was like, oh yeah, you did, when you stabbed yourself in the face with the marker. It's like, oh yeah, I had totally forgotten about that. So if you weren't here for that, um, I got the Arteza toy markers a while back, and I got the Belba family, um, I think it's called Simple Beauty, their first, like, puzzle book, and I was testing it out, doing a video on it, and in between video takes, because I was testing it, trying different techniques, and then I'd come back on camera and talk about it and show you about the progress and stuff, um, which that is in a playlist somewhere, um, but one of them, I was trying to get the bullet nib out of those markers and so I decided to use my teeth. Let me just finish this spot right here because I really don't want her leg to be pink. <sighs> um I like hold on. I can't tell this story and then color it at the same time. So I put it in my mouth and I like pulled and my hand went back like this and came forward and I hit myself in the face and all of a sudden there's just like liquid everywhere. So I thought that it was the marker had broken because I smashed it into my teeth basically, like through my lip into my teeth. But I put my hand up and it was blood and it was like gushing. Um, because there's so many little capillaries and stuff in your mouth that it just started to pour and I thought it was ink and I was like oh no and it went literally everywhere and that was probably one of the stupidest things I have ever done but I survived the marker actually survived um yeah so that was dumb but I've done a lot of dumb things in my life I broke my ankle when I was 10 and um I mean, this was like a freak thing, but it had rained and I was outside. I was actually in Pittsburgh. We were visiting family. Um, I was actually supposed to go to camp and I backed out at the last second because I was nervous. Um, and yeah, I went through a weird phase as a kid of not wanting to like go to sleepovers and stuff. I don't really know why, but I would get like freaked out. Probably just early signs of anxiety. I don't know, <laughs> but um I ended up not going, so I was playing outside with my cousins, and it had rained, and I went to, I don't know, I was coming back to the house to get something, and I was probably running, and I slipped, and I, like, it was on a hill, so I slipped, and I, like, fell, and my leg tucked under, and I fell on my leg, and it broke, <laughs> so not even doing something cool, I just fell. But that was, that was bad. It was a bad break. Um, the bone chipped and yeah, it was not good. That's the only, well, I swear I've broken toes, but doctors don't seem to think so. I don't know. I know toes break a lot and sometimes you know, like, it, cause we jam them. Um, but the one that I think was actually broken because it still bothers me sometimes. So maybe it was just a stress fracture. I don't know. Um, but I was sleeping and my dog at the time was on my bed and I picked her up and I went to like go downstairs. And so I got out of bed and I didn't realize my foot was asleep and I fell. <laughs> Poor dog went with me. She was fine. But 
Yeah, I landed on my toe. And that hurt a lot. Um, yeah. And then my favorite story. It's the one where I broke my face. <laughs> so I didn't actually break anything, but um, it was in dance class. And we were doing... I had new shoes, new jazz shoes, and we were doing a turn. Um, so it's it was an attitude turn, which if you guys don't, some of you might know what that is, I don't know, but your leg is up in the back behind you, so you're on one foot. And then um, for this, the one that the choreographer wanted, we had our arms up, like kind of like this, but straight, you know, and our head was up back. Um, and that's a pretty common turn, but my foot slipped. <laughs> and because my arms were up and my head was back, the first thing to catch me was my chin. And I knew instantly, like I just knew, I was like, oh, that's not good. And I put my hand up to my chin and it had gone numb. I didn't, I didn't feel a thing. Um, but there was blood running down my arm and my dance teacher at the time was is still is she can't handle blood <laughs> it makes her pass out so I saw it and I instantly got up and ran out of the room my friend was running behind me with paper towels cleaning up the blood Sherry was about to pass out it was it was awful. And then, so, for those of you, I don't think I mentioned it before. Oh, I think I want to use this weird color. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait. Give me my six pack. Um. My mom is a dance teacher, so I went to the studio that she taught at, and she was supposed to be there that night, but she wasn't because she was choreographing the musical. So, um. I called her and she didn't pick up because she was away so then I called my grandma and then I called my dad and it was just like a wild goose chase um but when I finally got a hold of her she was like get ice on it now because I had an audition that weekend <laughs> oh my god this story the more I think about it the crazier it gets um so I had an audition that weekend for school for a college um and that all is a story for another day but um, yeah, so needless to say, I did my audition with stitches in my face, and I looked like I had chin hairs. Um, so they come and get me, and we go to the ER, and my grandma comes, um, because she's a retired school nurse. So she came. Well, she was on her way, I think, actually. Well, Mom, if you're watching this, we'll talk about it then, but I want to say that her car was in the shop or something. So, I don't know. Regardless, my mom and grandma came and got me, and we went to the ER, and <laughs> I tell them what happened, and they give me this, like, face mask full of ice and make me loop it around my ears, <laughs> so I'm praying to God that nobody that I know from high school comes in, um, and then we're in the, we're sitting there waiting, and, um, my cousin's husband at the time, uh, they were, uh, they're from actually here, Florida, um, but they had moved up north, and they were staying with my grandma for a while, and um, he was an EMT nurse of some sort, I don't know. Regardless, he was in the ER that night, and one name I recognized, what happened? So told the story and then got stitches and they put this like numbing stuff on you to numb the skin and like the one part didn't numb right <laughs> so I kept flinching um but as they're like stitching me up my grandma the nurse gets faint and gets sick <laughs> so we're wheeling her out as we're leaving once we're finally done on a freaking wheelchair Oh my gosh, it was wild. And then, <laughs> the best part was that um, two of my friends from dance went to the same school. 
So the next day, everybody knew that I fell and broke my face. <laughs> it's awful. It's like, yes, I'm fine. Just stupid. <laughs> stupid things happen to me. I'm accident prone, apparently. But I try to be very careful. So, yes, I am a klutz through and through, and I run into walls on the daily. I always have bruises. I just don't have any depth perception. <laughs> it sums the problem. Some of the problem is I rush. But, yeah. Anybody else have crazy stories like that? I'd love to hear them if you're willing to tell them, but I totally understand if you're not. Ew, that looks gross. That's what I was going for. Ugh, burping. Sorry guys, I have a soda instead of water today. So, yeah. But, other than that, this week has been pretty good. Um, last week and after I filmed my color and chat, I said I was gonna like color all day and stuff. Well, I ended up cleaning the rest of the weekend, like just going wild <laughs> and cleaning, which like never happens. Um, because I don't particularly care to, um, but I just, I needed to because we finally, like I was saying last week, we got our dryer. So I was able to do my laundry, and then once I did my laundry, I was able to organize. And I have had these cubes since before my quarantine was over, which was beginning of July. Um, I ordered these, like, cube, this cube storage sy system. Wow, somebody's, like, blaring their music. Um, hold on, I'm gonna take a sip. So, um, my intention was to do it before I went back to work, but I had to put the cubes together, so it never got done. So last weekend, I had an organization of my clothes. Um, I was able to hang some stuff up. I, um, sorry, my brain went somewhere else for a second. So I was able to hang some clothes up, which cleared up a whole drawer. Um, I went through all of my socks and, like, camisoles and got rid of threw some out that were just dirty and then some that were still good but I just don't need I donated especially socks not the camisoles but um yeah so I donated some socks um I cleaned my bathroom which was really gross I mean I clean it but not I clean the toilet but even still it's stained to all get out um, which was not my fault, but I cleaned the toilet, I actually vacuumed my bath mat, I mopped, I mopped the kitchen, I mean, I went wild. <laughs> when I get in those cleaning moods, like, I'm cleaning, cleaning. The only thing I didn't get to do was, um, vacuum the living room floor, because by the time I got to that, I was so exhausted, I just was like, I'll do it next week, so I might do it, um, once I throw laundry in today. Cause I almost forgot about my laundry. I was organizing my work stuff for tomorrow. I was like, oh shoot, I don't have any costumes. I need to do the laundry, but I've got time. And especially with a dryer now, it won't take quite as long. I can't tell what this is. If this is part of a tree. But yeah, so that felt really good to get rid of some stuff. And then I went through, so Saturday, Saturday yeah um one of my friends is a Mary Kay consultant so I do use their skincare and stuff because I really like it but I had signed up under her just to help her out the one month um to get her to direct her and um so I had all this product and I just so I went through it I threw out the stuff that was going to expire soon that I was never going to use I wrote down like the expiration dates and stuff and then I um, donated some of that too um, 
which when I say donated, I mean I put it in my donation pile. I need to actually get to Goodwill, which is right down the street, which they remodeled. It used to be across the street. Like I could literally walk across the street, but um, they moved it and they have a whole new building. And my roommate uh, went there with some friends the other week and she said it was really nice. She got a $2 muffin tin, <laughs> which is cool. But yeah, so it was nice to get organized and um, now I need to, I just need to go through my makeup because um, I actually used to be a unique um, presenter, beauty, beauty presenter. So I have a bunch of that stuff and I do love it, but I know it's old because it's from when I first started and I started in like 2015. So... <laughs> I know makeup isn't good for that long, so I do need new foundation, so I'm gonna probably go to Laura and try Mary Kay's and see if I like it and go from there. But Selena Gomez also came out with a beauty line, and you guys know that, like, I watch all these drama channels and stuff, and now I, more so, I don't really care about the drama, I just watch because I like these people that are commentating and I think they're funny, um, and it gives me a good laugh. <laughs> so... Um, no, no, like a zit on my shoulder that I just scratched. But, um, yeah, there's like this whole drama with some other beauty influencer, Patrick Starr, who I don't really know anything about, was basically when he did his review, just comparing her stuff to his brand. Um, which, if you want to do a comparison video, do a comparison video, but that's not really a review. So he got a lot of, like, backlash from that, and it was on these channels. But she's got, like, this liquid blush, and it looks so cool. Like, I really want to try it. So I might, um... Well, there's a Sephora in Disney Springs, so I could try to go there and try it, but... I really don't know what to do with like these little spots behind the mushrooms. I don't know if it's tree or if it's water. Because this looks like a tree branch. And that looks like a branch. But I really don't know what's going on back here. But that looks like it definitely needs to be pink, right? Should I just make it pink? Or is this like on the side, like in its own little patch? I think I'm gonna make this part pink. I'm just gonna make an executive decision. This is my one issue with the Jade Summer books is that sometimes it's really hard to tell what's what in the background. I ran into that with um, that last picture and then I just said, screw it, this is gonna be this and this is gonna be that, so. We're gonna try that, we're gonna do that for now. And now let's think about the trees. So while we're thinking about the trees, I'm gonna grab the black and go ahead and black this part out. I don't know if I wanna use the chisel or the, ah, my hair, sorry, the camera. Let's see, let's try to move this a little bit. Don't get sick, please. All right, so. So yeah, um, what else did I do this week? I talked with Laura, who is the beauty Mary Kay person, um, and that was nice. We got to FaceTime each other. I think that was actually last week, but I can't keep track of time anymore. So that was really nice. I hadn't talked to her in a while. and She's got kiddos, so it was nice to see them. They were cute. They're just getting so big and so smart. She's a um, former teacher, now stay-at-home mom. Um, and so she, since they were born, they were all born, has been working with them to like, I don't know, she just knows a lot about development and stuff. So she's very good at teaching, that's all. That's where we'll leave it. Um, but the girls, like, they're two and a half now. 
So, like, they don't, they're starting to remember now, but, like, they don't remember a time without masks. So, like, it was crazy to me when she was, like, they'll pick stuff up and be, like, mask and put it over their face. And I'm, like, oh, my God, what a world. What a world, what a world. Um, yeah, just crazy. Crazy to think about the times that we're living in. Wow, that's a lot of red. Ooh. Just, like, flies out when <laughs> when you first pick it up. Sorry, I think my head's in the camera again. It sure was. My whole face was in the camera. I'm sorry. Let's see. How do I get my face not in the camera? I don't know. Um, I really am seeing these guys as like purple. Like this deep purple. What color is this? Whew. Or should I do the trees purple? And what other color would I do the trees? Orange? Ooh, orange would be cool. Yeah, I think I want to do the trees orange. So let's do these purple. Because purple and orange kind of go together. It's like Halloween-esque. <laughs> um, trying to think what else I was going to talk about today. I think I'm going to save, because I was going to do, like, fall stuff, but I think I'm going to save that for next week, because next week, um, either Monday or Tuesday, will be the official first day of fall, so that's exciting. It actually falls on my mom and stepdad's anniversary, which also actually falls on one year since like this crazy car accident that I was in that made me have to get a new car <laughs> but we can maybe talk about that then I don't like to dwell on it but I think about it so I'll probably be spending that day at home if I can help it or maybe I should go out to like face my fear but yeah um oh man I don't remember what I was going to talk about. I just feel like I haven't done much. Oh, we went to, I think I started to say this. Maybe not. I said it in my head, but <laughs> went to Animal Kingdom yesterday with my friend Kim, who um, is a work friend, but we don't work together right now. She's in a different role. I don't know that we'll ever work together again, honestly, because if I was her, I wouldn't come back to our location because she's got... Um, she just got coordinator, which is really cool, um, which is a better position than just frontline cast member, so, um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, and we had a lot of fun yesterday. The parks are still pretty dead. Um, they've lifted a lot of our dates that we can't get into the park, so that's nice, because now we can. So I think we were there for like, I don't know, from like 11 to 2, which really isn't long, but we were able to do what we wanted to do within that time frame. And then we went to Disney Springs. And I got, where did we go? We went to Deluxe Burger and we both got, just got the kids meal because it was huge. I mean, the burger wasn't huge. It's like a slider, but then like the side, you get a ton of sides. Um, so yeah, it was really good. All right, let's see. Orange. Orange trees. Ooh, yes. I want to do them like stripey though. So, like they are. So let's just start and we'll, we'll go, we'll figure it out along the way. <laughs> this is me confronting my fear of unrealistic colors. Not fear, but Ugh, my hang up, I guess. Sorry, I'm like digging in the corner. There we go. Alright, I don't know what color to stripe this with though. Yellow? That'd look weird. Sorry, I keep getting my head in the way. I don't know what's up with my camera system today that that's happening. Oh, I 
I was watching um, some YouTube videos this week too, of course, and Anne at A Colorful Life did like a really cool video where she picked um, like her pages that she, like goal pages to color this week, so that was fun. Um, yeah, Danny's Live was a lot of fun. Talked a lot about the live action movies, which Disney movies, which I really don't mind most of them. The only one I didn't care for was The Lion King because I just, they could have, they didn't have to redo it. It's just, it's not even live action. Like, <laughs> it's still animated. So why bother reanimating something and changing it when you didn't ever have to? I don't know. It just felt it was unnecessary. And I agree with, like, the critics that were like, yeah. The animals didn't show enough emotion and yada yada, so just lukewarm on that one. I really do enjoy Beauty and the Beast, and I know that's a very unpopular opinion. Um, but I think we got on it because of Mulan, which just came out, and I just am not going to pay to watch it. I'm already paying for the subscription. Um... Some theaters down here are already open, which I'm not going to venture there either, but I'm just, I don't think it's right to charge people who are already paying for, I don't know, I just think it's dumb, but I know everybody's in a tough spot right now, but I'm not going to pay for it because I don't, I've heard mixed things for different reasons and I'm just not going to do it. Um, one of our, our, I want to call them family friends, but they're not, <laughs> they're just friends, but they're a family of people. Um, so like it's a mom, dad, and son. And, uh, we were going to go over there and watch it with them, but they had appointments and stuff, so it didn't end up working out. Um, but like if they want to pay for it, that's fine, but I'll watch it, but I'm not gonna, what is this now? Is that part of the plant, or is that part of the tree, or is that... It looks like a unicorn horn, is what it looks like. But yeah, uh, I'm not totally sold on it either, because no Mushu, no Shang. Um, the actress, in my opinion, has done some questionable things, um, which I'm not going to talk about here, because I don't want this channel to be like that, sorry. So, so yeah, I, uh, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I was watching these cold case files today, and it's crazy how, like, some of them are just so stupid, like, on some, <laughs> if you had just looked at this little piece of evidence a little harder, you might have figured it out the first time. <laughs> That's how I feel. So it's just kind of funny to me sometimes. I mean, not funny, but it's like, really, you miss that? Like the one today the guy had said, the killer... They had him in custody and stuff, and, like, he had killed other people, so they knew it was him. They just, the DA wouldn't prosecute him because, um, like, there wasn't enough solid evidence to really hold a trial, I guess. But then the cold case people go back and look at it, and they're like, that's not a bruise, that's a bite mark. <laughs> Maybe take a closer look? I don't, I don't know. And I, some of them I get because, like, there was no DNA testing, and, like, the one was, like, a cold case from like the 60s and I don't even know how they brought it back to like I don't know I don't remember what happened but because I wasn't paying that close of attention on that one um but like some of it I do get there's like no DNA testing and stuff back in I mean even in the 90s like it wasn't great so and I'm realizing how quick this video went. The last few I felt like, for me personally, I was just like struggling to talk about things, but I guess when you're a klutz then you have plenty of stories to talk about and take up time. I probably shouldn't have done that part orange. Sorry y'all, sorry. I don't know why my head is in the camera so much. 
Ooh, but guys, I did get um, some Halloween books in, so I'm going to film that after this, the first part. So it'll probably be two parts because um, not all of the books have come in from Amazon yet, but um, a couple of them did, and I'm very excited. So yeah, I'll probably film that after this. Throw some laundry in. Um, I just put my like feet up on, like I raised up on my toes and I was like, oh, my calves hurt, but I wore flip flops to the park yesterday and I never do that, but it looked, it said it was gonna like downpour on us. So I was like, I'm not wearing my sneakers, I'm getting them wet. So I wore those instead, but now apparently I'm paying for it. I didn't notice it hurting before, so not that bad, but still. Um, I don't remember what I was saying before that. Oh, my Halloween books. So yeah, I got the Coloring Heaven special for Halloween, and uh, you'll hear more about it, but it there's some really cute pages, but there's some that I really just want to rip out of the book because they scare me. Um... I also got, I'll just tell you because this video is going to go up on Thursday. Well, this, this video is going to go up on, um, now, today, probably late tonight because it takes forever for videos to process, but, um, I think I am going to wrap it up here soon. Um, we're at 46 minutes. Um, oh my goodness, I forget what I was saying now again. Oh, the books. So yeah, I got the Halloween Color Quest Topia, and then I got um, Autumn Dreamlings by Edwina McNamee, McNamee, which is super adorable. So yeah, I'm excited to have them. Um, I've been in the fall mood, but not so much in like the fall coloring mood um, just yet. So, I will be, but I think once fall actually hits, then I'll really want to color those things. Alright, so we've got most of that stripey tree done. Should we do this stripey tree? Sure. Alright. Yeah, I really don't know what color to go back in. Blue? Should I do blue? That's trippy. That's weird. I think maybe I'll do like a bright blue. That'd be weird. Ew, can you imagine? I'd be like, what kind of fever dream? <laughs> um, you always do this. I feel like I have so much to talk about and then I never remember. And then as soon as I log off, I'm like, shoot, I wanted to say that. Um, let's see, I ha do have my little list here today. Oh yeah, so if you guys couldn't tell, I do minimal editing to my videos. I just, I don't enjoy it. So I do hope that you guys don't mind that. Um, oh, I started playing with um, thumbnails and stuff. So I will, I use the canva.com, I think it's called, that um, Pebbles, which I just learned today that your name is Penny, <laughs> uh, over at Pebbles Adult Coloring. She... Um, suggested it so I tried it out and it seems pretty cool but I don't want to like I don't know I don't want to copy people so I'm trying to find original backgrounds to use that I haven't seen on coloring people's coloring channels so but if I do use one that you use I do apologize it was not intentional um, so that's exciting but yeah, I just, I don't care to edit that much because I don't think it enhances coloring videos all that much. I mean, if you're doing like a color along and you flash up the color combos and stuff, that's great. But like to edit out a sneeze or something, for me, I'm like, mm, well, people sneeze. <laughs> that's real life. So, yeah, what else? Uh, I talked about my cleaning marathon and t talking with Laura. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I said about wearing flip-flops and stuff. Well, that's because I've been getting caught in the rain. And I got caught in the rain the other week, and it was so freaking gross. 
Um, I was absolutely soaked. And I don't want that to happen again, so I constantly carry rain gear and my umbrella. But it was because my pants, because we wear jeans, and it was after work, and I just... I was almost back to the car, and the skies opened up, and it was that quick I got drenched. I had to put my shoes in the dryer. It was awful. <laughs> Yay, Florida. It's not raining right now, surprisingly. It said it was going to rain this afternoon, but it hasn't yet. So that's good. Um, I know we had, like, some storms in the Gulf, but they went, they never really touched us, which is good. Well, I had a lady get mad at me this week because I told her to put her mask on. Shocker, what else is new? She was like, I am eating, and I was like, no, you're not. You've got it in your hand. You're not eating it. Put your mask on. I didn't say that, but I thought it. <clears throat> and then I got real petty and I made them stand. <coughs> Excuse me. Stand where they're supposed to stand. <laughs> yeah, I'm that person. I'm just so tired of it. I'm so tired of... I was like, oh, that's great. I couldn't do your job. I would haul off on somebody, I think, eventually. It takes a lot to get under my skin, but recently it hasn't taken as much. And I'm just to the point where I'm frustrated because it always comes down to eating in the store. Because um, I can laugh about like the other lady with the want me to pass out here over there because it was just stupid. But this is like, I'm just trying to follow the rules, but nobody else will enforce it. So I'm more frustrated with my coworkers and stuff than the guests, I guess. So I think I need to have a conversation with my leaders and ask them, what are we supposed to do? And if it's that we're supposed to enforce no eating in the store at all, then we need to have a talk. Because at this point, I'm just letting it go because it's not worth my time. As long as they're, like, not being roaming around the store and all that stuff, the rule is you have to be stationary. So if they're stationary, they're stationary. But I'm just so tired of it. <laughs> I'm getting so burnt out, I think, at this location. But there's nothing to do about it right now because nobody can move anywhere. I could quit, but what, what's that, what good's that going to do? Not, I don't want to do that anyway. Um, so yeah, it's just really quite annoying. But yeah, this weekend has been nice. Um, just being able to... I don't know what these are. I think these are like mushrooms like that. Um, but yeah, it's just been nice to... Like yesterday, have a day out, and then today... Um, my roommate and I were gonna go shopping at Disney Springs, but then her coworkers want to go bowling tonight, and I was like, I would love to, but I'm gonna pass. I just want a day to do what I want to do. <laughs> like, I just want a lazy day. Like, of course, I'm gonna throw laundry in and like maybe vacuum the floor and stuff, but other than I can vacuuming the floor doesn't take long. I can color while I'm doing laundry and watch TV, or like listen to the cold cases and stuff. Um, I just really, really want to get through these buddy colors and not because like I'm not happy with them or anything. It's just like, I need to do it. But I think next month I'm gonna take, um, I do have one lined up, but I think other than that, I'm gonna take a break from buddy colors and just color whatever I want because um, November holds something very fun and I really don't want to be burnt out from buddy colors before November. So I just think I need a break. <laughs> I've also really been into my color by number lately. I think because the mandalas and just like relaxing things, I think because I've just been tired <laughs> and I just didn't want to think about it, like picking the colors and stuff. 
But today's a good day, like I do want to do it, so. I'm glad I was debating getting on, like, filming today, but I'm glad that I did. Um, so I was just gonna put it off till tomorrow, but then I probably would have put it off again, and then, yeah, just would have been bad. So I'm glad I did. I feel like this was a pretty good color in chat. I feel like last week was weird, <laughs> but it's fine. They're not all gonna be gems, that's for sure. So, yeah, we will go ahead and finish this. We are almost at an hour, which is perfect, because then by the time I edit and put in the screens and stuff, it'll be like an hour. So we'll finish this tree. And maybe I'll brainstorm with you for a moment about colors. I think I have decided to do blue with this orange. This is just gonna be a wild page and I'm excited because I don't want it to really have any semblance of like normalcy. I want it to be weird. It is in Chibi Girls Horror after all, not just Chibi Girls, which even then, so I was coloring the um, elf page that I was showing you guys and I made her skin green. Um, She's kind of very loosely based off of Zelda, because I know nothing about that game or anything. I don't game. Um, I don't know if I talked about this before, I might have, but like video games make me physically ill when I play them. They make me like, they give me vertigo or something, I don't know. Um, so I don't play them. Uh, I don't really even watch people play them. <laughs> Which it isn't as bad when I watch people, but I still am not a fan. Um, but yeah, so I loosely based her off of Zelda um, because, I don't know, just when I saw the picture that's what it reminded me of. But I made her skin green, kind of as like an ode to the I, what looks like to be the old outfit was green and the new one's like blue, so that's why her outfit's blue. And then I was like, well, I have to do the, the ground. So I was like, well, she's green to blend in. There we go. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I don't know, but yeah. So she was fun to color, but it was hard to get started on that one. I just did not know where to go with it. Um, right. It's very hard to stop once you start because I feel like I'm gonna get out of a rhythm here. Oh, I thought it was the TV flashing, or not flashing, but it's been paused for so long that now it's, um, like, on the Netflix hold screen, and it changed, and I thought that my iPad died, but it was just that screen going blank to change. Anybody watching anything good on Netflix? <laughs> so right now I'm just watching, like, old things. I'm not really watching much of anything other than YouTube, to be honest. Because I just like to watch all your videos and all my drama videos. <laughs> so I go through phases, though. Like, I'll get out of that phase eventually. Just watch what I really want to watch on YouTube and then watch TV and stuff. But I don't know. I just feel like... I don't have enough time, but my work schedule is evening out now, which is super good. Um, cause this week, like tomorrow I don't start till one, the next day I don't start till one, and then the two days after that I don't start until 11.30, so it's not early, but they are closing shifts, which kind of stinks, but closing now we are, we are done by eight o'clock. Um, whereas we used to just be closing like the doors by eight o'clock and would be out by nine, but now we close the doors at seven and we're out by eight. And that is amazing. <laughs> it is so nice. But that's what I was going to talk about, but we can save that for next week too. I'll just mention it. Um, if you guys are into cooking shows, cause I think on here I talked about cut their kitchen and stuff. Um, Halloween Wars on Food Network just started, and also um, Halloween Baking Championship just started. So I did I did not watch Halloween Wars, but I did watch Halloween Baking Championship, 
and honestly it was a little scarier than most this time um they're because they're in like a tent now because of covid and it's kind of funny to watch because they used to sit at like this long judging table and now they're at three individual tables um six feet apart which is great it's just kind of funny because they don't like mention that that's why so like in the future if people are watching it and like don't recall the year and all that it's it'd be kind of funny like why are they sitting like that um but yeah it's it was cute um people are amazing my favorite one, well, my favorite one is the Holiday Baking Championship, um, but I also really like the Kids Baking Championship. They're fun. Because those kids are amazingly smart. <laughs> and like, I'm like, how did you learn to do this? And how is your taste so advanced for your age? Like, you're 10. <laughs> Most of them are like, I think 10 and up. 10 to like, 13 or something. Craziness. Absolute mayhem. <laughs> Not really, but it's it's a fun show. Um, and if you guys have um, cable, like my parents have Xfinity, we don't have it here, but I can log into their, or well, I have an account, they set me up with it too. Um, f just for like being able to use the streaming service. Um, so I do stream it. Last night, because it was a new season though, I just watched it because it was free on the Food Network app. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, you can stream like old seasons and stuff if you have cable and just sign in with your account info, which is neat. Cutthroat Kitchen though is on Hulu. I mean, I'm sure it's on Food Network too, but it's on Hulu to watch. So oh, yeah, this has gone on a little longer than I wanted because I'm just trying to finish this tree, but it was fun to talk about. Oh my gosh, I also still need to do my scavenger hunt. Danny, I'm sorry. <laughs> my scavenger hunt. I just, I can't decide on what to pick and I keep overthinking it, so I just need to do it and be done. Um, so I'm going to try to get that out to you guys. Oh, I got a stretch Ugh. this week, um, hopefully on Saturday, because I'm trying to post Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, but it's kind of all over the place right now. Um, and it might be that way for a while. Oh, I didn't do this part. I'll do it then. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I, like I said, I think I'm going to do this blue with the orange. Um, and then the mushrooms have to be some kind of weird color too they can't be red i feel like that's too normal for a mushroom so maybe we'll do like a magenta color i don't know but i'm liking how it's turning out so far it is pretty psychedelic maybe we'll just do more i think oh where did i do with that marker i think these guys these little mushroom guys sticking out on the side i think i'm gonna do those this purple color to keep it kind of like consistent and these two dots because they look like mushrooms too I don't I don't know what that's supposed to be but that's what we're gonna go with oh oh no I shook the whole tripod I'm so sorry all right so yeah so that's kind of my plan and then we'll make her more realistic to like give contrast that's what I'm gonna say but I might take a break for a minute throw in some laundry and all that good stuff anyway thank you guys so much for watching uh if you made it all the way to the end um go ahead and I really like the leave an emoji thing so if you're on your phone leave a bat emoji because this reminds me of bats um and if not just put the word bat um so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and listening to my weird stories. Uh, I think I'm going to call these uh, ran or not random ramblings. Oh man, weekly ramblings instead of color and chats from now on because I think it's funny, um, but we'll see. Um, 
uh, yeah, I wish I had polls to like poll you guys, but yeah, anyway. So thank you guys again for the five millionth time. I love you. Stay safe, stay healthy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And subscribe and comment down below. I really love to hear some of your crazy stories or just whatever you've been up to, what you've been coloring. I love hearing from you guys regardless. Um, thank you all so much. Welcome to all the new people in Colorland. And once again, love you guys. Stay safe and healthy and I will talk to you soon. Bye.